Hello, welcome back to KG Simple Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing this iPad Pro 11 inch case. So we recently got an iPad Pro and it is a 11 inch model and this is going to be so perfect for it. Obviously there are so many different models of iPads out there so you want to make sure that this is going to fit the model that you have specifically but this is for the iPad Pro 11 inch model. So let's go ahead and open this up because I am so excited to see this and I'm ready to get some protection on the iPad that we have. First glance, I love this leather look. I feel like when you have a textured leathery surface, you get a lot less greasy fingerprints, which is so nice because I feel like that's the thing that bothers me the most about iPads and iPad cases is the fingerprints from greasy fingers, which it's just natural. We all have some form of grease on our hands. So, um, so this is the case. This is what it looks like when you open it up. I'm just gonna take this out. There are several things that I was looking for in a iPad case, and I feel like this hits all the marks for me. So I like that this is an easy open and close. It closes all the way. It rests completely shut. Whereas some of the iPad cases, I feel like they rest more like this. So this does have a really flexible spine right here, but the top of it is really hard. So you can see it is bendable, but it is definitely more sturdy than this bendable spine right here. So just for starters, this is the front of the iPad case. There is a little pocket in here. If you have some papers or something that you need to keep with you, you can easily stick them in here. If you have something you're working on, you could put a tiny little notebook in here. Um, that would be perfect. So I like that there's a pocket there. And then I like that it has this elastic to keep it shut. And this is a nice flexible elastic, so it does flip over really easily. You don't have to struggle to flip that over at all. And then I do really like when you open it up, that this backing is more of a harder plastic material. It is flexible a little bit, but it is definitely more of a hard plastic material. And then these outer edges are more of a softer rubbery material, which I really like because I feel like that's really going to prevent the iPad from getting dinged up on the edges, even if you have this case fully opened. Another thing I really like is that this case can fold all the way back and still lay pretty flat. That's really nice, especially if you're working on your iPad. You don't have to worry about a really big bulky spine sticking out or anything. Another perk of this iPad case, which a lot of the other ones didn't have, is this one actually has space for your Apple Pencil. So you can see there's this space right here, which is really nice. And then also, obviously, you have a hole for your iPad camera. And obviously, this is going to match the iPad Pro 11 inch iPad um, and all the cameras that it has on the back here. And so we flip it around and this is what it looks like on the back. It just has this really basic plain black leather design and it has this white stitching all around the edges, which I just think it looks really classy and I like the minimalist design here. And I feel like this can be for either a boy or a girl or it can be for business meetings or just casual use. So I really like the versatility of this. One of the last things on my checklist while I was looking for iPad cases is that it can flip around and stand up on its own and that's something that I really like about this one. So you just lift it up just like this and it can stand up just like so. You can use it in a couple different positions. You can kind of see the grooves here that are set up for that. This is more of a rubbery material just to help catch this end of the iPad case. So you can have it standing up pretty straight like this at the next notch right here and at the most laid back notch right here so you can see. This case is also embedded with a magnetic strip so that when you open and close the flip cover, the iPad will auto wake and sleep, which is nice. And then you obviously have all of the buttons and all the right openings for all of the different gadgets and speakers and power plugins that you have on that iPad Pro 11 inch. So I feel like all that's left to do is to put my iPad Pro in here and see how nicely it fits in here. Okay, I have my iPad in here. It's all set up. I am so excited about this. It fits in really securely. It's definitely not going to come out on its own. You're really gonna have to put some effort in to get it out, which is really nice. I just, it gives me some comfort knowing that it's not just going to fall out. And as you can see here, I can still adjust the volume really nice and easily. And this case doesn't hinder me from doing anything that I would normally do on the iPad, which is a huge bonus for me. 
And as you can see, I am turning on the camera here and there is nothing blocking any part of the camera lens, which is so perfect and, and just makes me so happy. So something that I had pointed out earlier, but I really wanted to show you is that this case definitely sticks out farther than the camera, which is exactly what I wanted just because I definitely don't want to get the camera scratched or nicked in any way. I just want to preserve that area of the iPad as much as possible. And as you can see, it opens up so nicely. I just overall am really excited about how this looks. It would look really nice if you did have a stylus pen in here or an Apple pencil. Overall, I love this so much. I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description down below so you can go check this one out yourself. If you found this review useful, please give this video a thumbs up and follow us for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.